Hello YouTube, I'm back. If you're wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses, because the light on this phone is bright as all hell. This is just a recap on my new Ant Router R1 and its hashing rate and how much I made so far on it. So let's take a look at it. Right here it is in all of its glory. It's hashing away. And if we come over here to my computer, if you can see, I've only made two cents with it since I've had it. Only two little cents. Not much, but it's something. It's something. Um, I'm going to show you. Over here, what it's hashing at 1.39 mega hashes per second. And sorry about the glare on my screen on my computer here on my laptop. It's doing pretty good, it's doing pretty good. It's hashing, and it's making very, very little money, unfortunately, for a 50 to 60 dollar device. Is the Ant Router S? I mean, not S, but is the Ant Router R1 by Bitmain worth buying for only two little pennies? To only make pennies? Eh, for beginners, yes. For professional Bitcoin miners, I'll give this thing a hard pass. But, honestly, I actually like the little thing. But man, does it get hot. I do mean really, really hot. Um, yeah, uh, let's go back to the screen of my computer here. Sorry about the glare again. Um, yeah, right here. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Two mega hashes. Per second, two mega hashes. I mean, not two mega hashes. I mean, two cents. It's all it's made. Two little pennies. Seriously, two little itty bitty little pennies. It's all the thing has made so far, and, uh, and that's only its first week being up and running. And, um, but yeah, um, uh, let's see. Am I going to buy another one of these ant routers? Definitely. I'm definitely going to get another one. Um, but at 1.30, uh, hold up, I can't see with that light. Whoop. Yeah, at 1.39 mega hashes, it's slow as all hell. At making money. Uh, I have it running on um, nice hash right now on their pool. Um, I'm th once I get uh, ah shit, this is scared me. Um, once I get another one of those, I'm also probably gonna get into some possibly USB mining next. I'm going to get some USB block eruptors, get some other things going, and we'll see what I can do. Um, let's see. I would like to get one of those big ant router S9s or S6s or whatever, but if I were to plug them in and whatnot, I would blow my break off straight to hell and back. I live in a trailer. We all know trailers are not built for Bitcoin mining, for the big dogs. Uh, they say that the Ant Router is supposed to be as powerful as the latest and greatest graphics cards. I don't see that anywhere close uh, being true. This thing, hold up, I got, I'm sweating a little bit, give me a minute. <sighs> what is, I sit right there. Ah, right like, oh shit. That's middle. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, 
They say that the the ant router all one is supposed to be just as powerful as a GPU graphics card. It's not anywhere close to being that powerful. Nowhere close. And I know how powerful graphics cards are. Uh, but for beginners, however, the Ant Router R1, is it worth it for a beginner? Yeah, so get them familiarized with how mining Bitcoin works. It will definitely get them familiarized with setting them up, knowing the Ant pools, uh, uh, how to get into the system, how to configure it, stuff like that. But is this thing recommended for the hardcore Bitcoin miners? No. Beginners? Yes. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Oh yeah, I like I said, I'm going to get another one of these. See what happens. Um, get some USB mining sticks. It's US, yeah, USB mining thingies. You need whatever the heck they call block eruptors or whatever. Let's set those up, see what happens. And when it comes to Bitcoin mining, start small and work your way up. Always, always start small and work your way up. Get familiarized with how the system works. That goes the same thing with phone farming. Test out the apps. If the apps work, use it. If not, go to the next best thing. And, and that's kind of what I'm getting ready to do right now because I got one phone that has a metric shit ton of battery bloat. So I got to replace the battery in it. So phone farming for me right now is on hold. For right now, phone farming for me is on hold until I get some new batteries for my devices. Which I can get them fairly cheap on Amazon. When, when it comes to phone farming and Bitcoin mining and everything else in between, free up charge on Amazon using free Amazon gift cards from phone farming. So, yeah. Um, did I cover anything? Do, did I cover everything? Uh, let me think. Yeah, I think I covered everything. Well, my name's Jason Osborne. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, please, give me a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Please. The more likes I get, the more subscribers I get, it, the happier the channel is. The happier the channel, uh, well, the happier the viewers. Hopefully, the viewers are happy. So, my name is Jason Osborne, and I am signing out.